Hello, my beautiful manifestors. Welcome to day one of Manifestation Basics. I wanted to do this video series over the next two weeks, um, however long you need it, because we gotta go back to basics right now. So many of us are anxious, depressed, scared. We're stuck at home. Uh, the great fear of the unknown, it's a scary time. And many of you have been coming to me talking about that, talking about how anxious you are, how scared you are and how you feel like you don't want that to manifest in a bad way, right? We know that our thoughts, feelings, and vibration creates our reality. So I wanna get back to basics with you. You are still a powerful creator. You're still a powerful manifester. Your dream life creation process doesn't stop just because it seems like the world has stopped. And you could still do things every single day to get yourself to that point, little by little. And also you could do things every day to get you into that high vibe state, that state of alignment, the state where everything manifests beautifully. Your manifestations don't stop. The universe doesn't stop responding to your thoughts and feelings and vibrations. So you want them to be good ones, right? I'm um, not saying don't be anxious, be anxious, feel it. You gotta feel all of your feelings and get them out. But then you need to do certain things, which is what I'm gonna teach you over the next few days, to get yourself out of that, okay? It's okay to feel however you're feeling. It's okay to feel sad, negative, depressed. It's okay to feel those feelings. That's what today is all about. So as students of the law of attraction, as deliberate creators, as manifestors, we're always taught that we need to think positively, right? We gotta think positively and positive things will come our way. Uh, we have to think positively because we're always attracting. So if we think negatively, we're gonna attract more of the negative. That is true. Yes, but if you know anything about me, you know the very first thing I teach all my clients, the very first thing I do myself is I go through limiting beliefs, negative beliefs, and I do look at the negative because you have to. So very often, a lot of times when you're learning about manifestation, you're not really told to look at the negative first. So what happens is you come up against a wall. You feel like your manifestations aren't working. And why is that? It's because you haven't cleared all the negative out of your head yet. You literally have to look at these things. You do, you have to bring them up, you have to look at them so that you can get them out. So today, I want you to make a list of all the things in your life right now that you don't want. Everything that's going bad, everything that you hate. Um, maybe it's your debt, maybe it's your living situation, maybe it's your car. Um, maybe it's the fact that you don't have someone that you want to share your life with. You want to share your life with somebody, a soulmate. Um, whatever it is, get all the negative out today. And what this exercise is going to do is it's going to build up on next day's, I want to say tomorrow, um, but it might not be tomorrow. So the next day's exercise, which is going to be to figure out what you really want. So a lot of times when I start working with clients, they don't really know what they want. Um, and, the, and the way to do that is to figure out what you don't want first. Even if you do know what you want, you should still do this exercise. Get all the negative out. Figure out what you hate right now. What is dragging you down? What is dragging your vibe down? Um, it doesn't have to be <laughs> coronavirus related. I really would suggest just don't make it about that. Um, make it more things in your life that you want to get rid of so that you could reach the next level. Everyday things that came before the pandemic started. Because what we wanna focus on is creating the dream life. We wanna focus on getting rid of all the old so that we can bring in the new, all right? So you let me know how that goes. Now, again, it's probably not gonna to be tomorrow, but the next day's exercise, we're gonna start making a list of everything you do want, your delicious desires, and then I'm gonna teach you how to call in your dream life. It is a beautiful process. The process doesn't stop. Even if you are already far on in your process and, and you feel like you have it down pat, but you feel like it's on pause right now because of everything going on in the world, I want you to follow along with all these videos, get back to basics. There's always something in our lives that we're not happy with. There's always something. So get the negative out today. Get your journal out, write down every single little thing that you don't want anymore. Every single little thing that's bothering you, everything, that, everything that's bringing down your vibe, uh, leave comments. You could DM me. I wanna know about your progress and also always tag me. If you're journaling, remember to tag me because I love, love, love celebrating with you. I love you guys so much. I'll see you maybe tomorrow, but probably the next day. Bye.